Welcome to our Maths Teacher YouTube channel. Today, you are going to learn about the first and the second lessons of the unit Factors and Multiples. The first lesson, Identifying Factors. There are three methods of finding factors. The first method, Finding Factors, writing as a product of two numbers. In this method, you will be learned what a factor is. Here you can see six flowers. We can arrange them in different formations. The first one, one row with six flowers in each row. That is one into six. In the second formation, two rows with three flowers in each row. It can be written as 2 into 3. In the third formation, 3 rows with 2 flowers in each row. That is 3 into 2. Fourth formation, 6 rows with 1 flower in each row. That is 6 into 1. Thus, 6 can be written as a product of two whole numbers in various ways. They are 1 into 6, 2 into 3, 3 into 2, 6 into 1. But here you can see that 1 into 6 and 6 into 1 are the same products as well as 2 into 3 and 3 into 2. Thus, it is enough to write only one product each out of these two products. That is 6 equals 1 into 6 and 6 equals 2 into 3. Now let's see what a factor is. When the whole number is written as a product of two whole numbers, these two numbers are known as factors of the original number. Since 6 equals 1 into 6, 1 and 6 are factors of 6. As well as 6 equals 2 into 3. So, 2 and 3 are factors of 6. Then we can write all the factors of 6. They are 1, 2, 3 and 6. There are 4 factors for 6. Now let's see some examples. First one. Write all the factors of 12. Here, first you have to write 12 as a product of two whole numbers in different ways. 12 equals 1 into 12 as well as 12 equals 2 into 6. Yet, 12 equals 3 into 4. So, we can list out all the factors of 12 easily now. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Now let's see another example. Write all the factors of 36. We can write 36 as a product of two whole numbers in many ways. They are 1 into 36, 2 into 18, 3 into 12, 4 into 9, 6 into 6. Then we can list out all the factors of 36. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36. There are 9 factors for 36. There is an important factor that is 0 is not a factor of a whole number. I think you have understood the first method well. Let's remind it again. When finding all the factors of a given whole number, we have to write it as a product of two whole numbers and list out the numbers written in those products. They are the factors of that number. Now you are given the homework. You have to write answers for the exercise 11.1 .1 in the textbook. Now let's move to the second lesson. Finding factors using the multiplication table. The second method, finding factors using the 
multiplication table. Here you can see a 10 to 10 multiplication table. Let's see some examples. First one, find the factors of 24 using the multiplication table. Here you can see that 24 gives by the product of 3 and 8 in the multiplication table. Yet, 24 gives by the product of 4 and 6. So, 24 can be written as 3 into 8 and 4 into 6. There are no more products that can be found in this table. Hence, the factors of 24 that can be identified from the multiplication table is 3, 4, 6 and 8. Now you can understand that we can write only few factors using a 10 to 10 multiplication table. But all the factors of a given whole number cannot be written. Now let's see another example. Find the factors of 36 using the multiplication table. You can see that 36 gives by the product of 4 and 9. As well as 36 gives by the product of 6 and 6 in this multiplication table. So, 36 can be written 4 into 9 and 6 into 6. Hence, the factors of 36 that can be identified from the multiplication table is 4, 6 and 9. Now you are given the homework. Write answers for the exercise 11.2 in the textbook. Let's meet in the next video lesson. Thank you.